So if you're just joining us, go ahead and close your eyes and have a seat. So take a moment here to settle in. to your breath. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling out through the nose. Begin to add a little sound to your breath here, maybe a slight little ujjayi breath. And maybe start to breathe in through the heart center. So with this ujjayi breath, inhaling into the heart center and exhaling out through the heart center. See if we can stay connected to this breath, bringing our awareness to our heart center. Let's take a few more cycles of breath here. more rounds of breath. See if we could even elongate just a little bit more that inhale. Elongate even more the exhale. And then go ahead and find your tabletop on all fours. E if you're there. These are for you. And then your tabletop. Do a few rounds of cat cows here. Inhaling slowly as you lift the chin, lift the tailbone, drop the belly. Very slow, exhale as you tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin. Actively start to push into the earth as you round the spine. See if you can complete that exhale. Maybe even notice that little pause at the end of the exhalation before you begin to inhale again. And then after completing one more inhale and exhale, go ahead and find your child pose. So maybe those big toes come to touch or close to touching knees, open wide, arms out in front. Take a couple breaths here. And remember, you can always come back to this child's pose. If you need a little reset, come back to the breath. We'll take two more cycles of breath here. And then coming back to your tabletop. Bring those hands out in front of you a few more inches. 
Shift the weight forward to your modified plank. And if you're ready, curl the toes. Maybe take one or both knees off the ground. Take one more inhale here, and then exhale, downward facing dog. And we'll take about five cycles of breath in this downward facing dog. So you can find some movement here, walk it out, pedal it out. And then go ahead and slow it down. Let's find a little stillness here. We'll call this our active stillness. So you're actively pushing that mat away from you and emphasizing that pointer and thumb side. Belly button back towards the spine. Go ahead, relax the neck and the head. Lifting the hips as you simultaneously drop the heels. And lifting those kneecaps as you push the knees behind you. So we're firing up the front side of the legs for about two more breaths. And then on your next inhale, slowly roll into a plank. And then stay here for a couple breaths. Again, active stillness. Keep pushing that mat away. Lifting the kneecaps, pushing the heels back towards the wall behind you. So pushing them right here. And then go ahead and find another child's pose. So in child's pose, you could always come back to the knees a little bit closer. Arms behind you, palms facing up. Just another version. Or palms together, hands up on top of the neck. And then go ahead and come back to your plank. So modified plank here on both knees, or one knee, or both knees off the ground. And then shift the weight a little bit forward on the toes. Take one more inhale here. As you exhale with the elbows pinned in, slowly lower down to the mat. <clears throat> and then bring those arms out to the side, tenting the fingers. Little bend of the elbows here. And then on your next inhale, peel up the head and the chest nice and slow. And then exhale, slowly lower back down to the earth. So go ahead and keep flowing here for a couple more rounds. Inhale as you peel it up. Slower, deeper exhale as you slowly lower down to the earth. On your next inhale, peel it up and look over your right shoulder. Exhale, slowly lower down. Slowly inhale to peel it up and look over the left shoulder. And then exhale, slowly lower down to the earth. Bring those arms out in front of you, palms facing down. On your next inhale, peel everything up. See if you can bring the feet off the ground. Stay here. Take a slow, deep inhale. And then exhale, draw the elbows back. Inhale, reach straight the arms. So a couple more rounds here. Point the toes a little bit. Give me a little more lift. Keep breathing. On your next inhale, we're gonna stay here. So bring the arms out in front of you. Every inhale, try to get a little more lift. Exhale, maintain that lift. Take one more inhale, give you a little bit more. Exhale, slowly lower down to the earth. Take a breath or two here to reset. And then bring those hands by your side. Pin the elbows in. Curl the toes. Thighs off the ground. Belly button back towards the spine. Inhale, push up into your plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. So five breaths here again. You can find stillness. 
or find a little movement. A couple more breaths here. And then inhale, roll into your plank. So vinyasas are optional. Take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, vinyasa are just meet in downward facing dog. Inhale to come up on the tiptoes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Step, walk, or float. Inhale to find that length in the spine. Exhale, fold. Do that a couple more times here. Inhale, slowly find that length in the spine. Exhale, lead with the heart center as you fold. One more round here. On your next inhale, sweep the arms up so that the sun may be looking up towards the thumbs. And then as you exhale, bring the palms into the heart center. We'll take a couple breaths here. And take a moment for gratitude, finding something, someone, anything to be thankful for. And then on your next inhale, sweep the arms up, sweep the sun. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, slowly find that length in the spine. And exhale, vinyasa, or meet in downward facing dog. And then inhale that right leg up nice and slow. Exhale, bring it to the nose. Stay here for a couple breaths. Keep pushing the earth away. Shift a little bit forward into your plank. And then inhale that right leg back up. Exhale, place it down on the earth. Inhale the left leg up. <clears throat> Exhale, bring that knee to nose. There we go, keep pushing the earth away. Get that knee deeper into the chest. Inhale it back up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll into your plank. Stay here. One more slow, deep inhale. Exhale, vinyasa, downward facing dog. <clears throat> Inhaling that right leg up. Exhale, bring it to the nose again. Inhale it back up. Exhale, bring it to that right tricep or shoulder. Stay here, a couple breaths. Inhale that leg back up. Exhale to the nose. Inhale it back up. Exhale, planting that foot in between the hands. We're going to find our way to our crescent lunge. We'll stay here for a couple breaths. Eventually, right thigh parallel to the earth. Maybe a little baby back bend from behind the heart center. Straighten that back leg just a little bit more. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, wash through your vinyasa or downward facing dog. Inhaling slowly that left leg up. Exhale, bring that to nose. Inhale it back up. Exhale. Left tricep or shoulder for a couple breaths. Keep pushing into the earth. Inhale it back up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale it slowly back up. Exhale, planting that foot in between the hands. Finding crescent lunge here for a couple breaths. Straighten that back leg just a little bit more. 
maybe a little baby back bend from behind the heart center. Take one more slow, nourishing inhale. Cleansing exhales, you wash through your vinyasa, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll back into your plank. Stay here for one more inhale. And then exhale, vinyasa, downward facing dog. Inhale to come up on the tiptoes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step, walk, or flip. Inhale, finding that length in the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring the palms into the chest. Couple breaths here, find your breath, find your stillness. Maybe feel that heartbeat, your heart song with the thumbs. And then open up the feet hip width distance if they're not there. On your next inhale, sweep the arms up. As you exhale, sink deeply into your chair. Bring thighs, arms parallel to the earth and look straight down. So not a traditional chair here. Couple breaths. Take one more inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, find length in the spine. Exhale, vinyasa, downward facing dog. And then inhale, roll into your plank. And we're gonna bring that knee, that right knee to the right tricep about five times. So one, two, three, four, one more. And then walk your hands back towards your feet for a forward fold. Couple breaths here, so use this breath, this prana to re-energize, reset. More blood to and from heart, lungs, muscles. And then walk your hands back out to that plank. Same thing on the left side, left knee, left tricep five times. One. Two, three, four, uno mas. And then walk those hands back towards your feet. Slow, deep inhales, maybe slower, deeper exhales. And then walk your hands out to your downward facing dog. <clears throat> and then inhale that right leg up. Exhale, bring it to the nose, knee to nose. Inhale it back up. Exhale, planting that foot in between the hands. So we're gonna find warrior one. So back foot angled in about 45 degrees-ish. Take a couple breaths here. So rooting the outside of that left foot. Maybe even lifting that inner arch of that back left foot. See if you can bring the arms up, maybe look up. Eventually right thigh parallel to the earth. Drawing that right hip back a little bit, left hip forward. Look up, lean back, one more inhale. Exhale, vinyasa, or downward facing dog.
couple breaths here. See if you can slow down the breath. Inhale slowly that left leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring that knee to nose. Inhaling it back up. Exhale, planting that foot in between the hands. Take your time. We're going to find our warrior one here on this left side. So again, back right foot angled in about 45 degrees-ish. Strong anchor with the outside of this right foot. Maybe looking up towards the hands. And now it's that left hip a little bit back, right hip forward. Look up, lean back, inhale. Exhale, slowly wash through your vinyasa, downward facing dog. <clears throat> so either find child's pose for the next four breaths or so, or stay in your downward facing dog. We're going to start a little flow here. We'll take a couple more breaths here to recover, reset. And in this flow, it can be one breath, one movement. <clears throat> or if you want, you can stay somewhere in this flow and take a couple breaths. We're going to flow here for a couple minutes. So go ahead and meet back and down. We're facing dog if you're not there. <clears throat> and then here's our flow. So inhale the right leg up, nice and slow. Exhale slowly, knee to nose. Inhale it back up. Exhale, planting it in between the hands. Inhale to crescent lunge or warrior one, your choice. And then exhale, wash through your vinyasa. Slow, deep. Exhale, takes you through chaturanga. Maybe a little pause there. Talk to the feet on the mat. Inhale, pull the heart center through. Exhale, downward facing dog. So again, you can take a couple breaths here, downward facing dog, or immediately inhale the left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale it back up. Exhale, planting foot in between hands. Inhale to rise up, look up. Exhale as you wash through your vinyasa, downward facing dog. So for about two minutes, you're flowing here. It's you and your breath. Or again, take a couple breaths wherever you feel comfortable. But keep breathing. So if that breath starts to get a little rapid, slow it down. We have about another minute here. Finishing up that right side, left side. And then whenever you're ready, take a few breaths in your downward facing dog. A few breaths in your child's pose. You can even 
can take a few breaths in your plank. If you're a masochist, you could lower down chaturanga hold here for a couple breaths. If you want even more heat, fireball hops, handstand. So we'll take a few more breaths here. See if you can listen to your body. Not always the mind. Your body doesn't lie to you. Your mind will trick you a little bit. So do what feels right here for a couple more breaths. Easy. And then find your way back to your tabletop. <clears throat> So we'll do a few rounds of cat cows here, or barrel rolls, figure eights, whatever feels good here for a couple breaths. Just coming back to some movement with our breath, integrating mind, body, heart. Trying to cultivate, foster, stay in this flow state. <clears throat> And then coming back to your version of a plank. So again, both knees can stay down, one knee, both knees off the ground. Take a couple breaths here. <clears throat> Take one more slow, deep inhale. Exhale, vinyasa, downward facing dog. <clears throat> inhale, pull that heart center through. Exhale, curl the toes, lift the hips, draw belly button back toward the spine, downward facing dog. And then inhale to come up on the tiptoes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Step, walk, or float. Inhale when you get there to find that length in the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sweep the arms up, salute the sun. Exhale, bring palms together into the heart center. And then go back to those feet hip width distance if they're not there. <clears throat> See if I could do this in my slippers. So inhale to come up on the tiptoes. Bring the arms up overhead. See if you can stay on your tiptoes. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, lower down into your chair. And see if you can lift that heart center just a little bit more, maybe even looking up towards the hands. Ah. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, drop the heels, fold forward. <clears throat> Inhale to find length in the spine. Exhale, vinyasa, downward facing dog. Inhale that right leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring it to the nose. Inhale it back up. Exhale, cross it over opposite tricep for a couple breaths. Stay here. And then inhale that leg back up. Exhale to the nose one more time. Inhale it back up. Exhale, planting that foot in between the hands. Crescent lunge here for a couple breaths. And then on your next inhale, bring that left knee into the chest. Yeah. Stay here for a couple breaths. Push into the earth with that right foot. Take one more inhale. Exhale, warrior three. So any version of warrior three here is so you can bring the palms together in the heart center. You can keep the knot in front of you. So left toes pointing down to the earth. Try to level off those hips a little bit. On your next inhale, bring that left knee back into the chest. 
Exhale, kick it out. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, slowly find warrior three again. Just a couple more breaths here. <clears throat> and then inhale that knee back into the chest. Very slowly find that crescent lunge. Take one more inhale here, look up, lean back. Exhale, vinyasa, downward facing dog. <clears throat> Inhaling that left leg up. Exhale to the nose. Inhale it back up. Exhale, cross it over to that opposite right tricep for a couple breaths. See if you can bring it a little bit higher. Inhale that leg back up. Exhale to the nose. Inhale it back up. Exhale, planting it in between the hands. We'll find that crescent lunge for a couple breaths. So find your breath, find your stability. And then on that next inhale, that's right knee into the chest. Stay here for a breath or two, pushing into the earth with that left foot. Take one more slow sip of inhale, maybe look up. And then exhale, it's warrior three here. So again, you can keep those arms out in front of you. You can bring them to the heart center, you can bring them behind you, airplane. Leveling off the hips a little bit here. Toes pointed down to the earth. Maybe a little micro baby bend in that knee. On that next inhale, bring that right knee back into the chest. Exhale, kick it out. And then one more inhale. Exhale, it's warrior three again. Couple breaths here. So utilizing that breath here for strength, endurance, stability, mobility, flexibility. On your next inhale, bring that knee back into the chest. Maybe look up and then exhale, crescent lunge, nice and slow. Take one more nourishing inhale, look up, lean back. And then exhale, wash it through, vinyasa, downward facing dog. Two breaths. Inhale, roll back into your plank. And then see if you could take that right hand, touch the left shoulder, left hand, touch the right shoulder. So you're just going back and forth here a couple rounds. <clears throat> Starting to get warm here. All right, find your stillness in your plank. Take one more sip of inhale. Exhale. Chaturanga, vinyasa. Downward facing dog. Inhale to come up on the tiptoes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step, walk, or float. Inhale, find that length in the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up, salute the sun. Slow, deep exhale as you bring the palms into the heart center. A couple breaths here. And then bring those big toes to touch, open up the heels. So sink the hips back, bend at the knees, bring your arms behind you. Pause here, keep that weight in the heels. On your next inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms back. So we're just going to flow here a couple rounds. Inhale, slowly bringing the arms up, maybe looking up, and this is all you're doing is back and forth. 
See if you can slow down the breath. On your next inhale, you're going to stay here. Keeping that weight towards the heels, maybe even lift the toes off the ground. Take one more inhale. Exhale, lead with the heart center and fall forward. Inhale, finding that length. Exhale, vinyasa, downward facing dog. breaths here. And then inhale that right leg up. Exhale, plant it in between the hands. We're going to find warrior two here for a couple breaths. Do you want to do a half moon today? Sure. Yeah? All right, find your breath, find your stillness. So keep your chest and hips square towards the side of your mat, but keep that right hip open. And then go ahead and straighten that right leg. Maybe heel toe that back foot in a little bit. So trikonasana, rule of thumb, is length of your stance, the length of one of your legs. <clears throat> yeah. So here, bring your arms out. As you inhale, reach it out. And then as you exhale, just windmill your arms here. We'll take a couple breaths here. So see if you could draw that right hip back and under a little bit. And then left hip opening up towards the ceiling. Maybe find a little length with every inhale. And maybe just a little bit of a twist on the exhale. And then go ahead and look down with that right foot. As you inhale, of course, centrically, slowly come back to standing. Find warrior two. And take one slow sip of inhale here. Exhale, windmill the arms, vinyasa, or downward facing dog. Couple breaths. Slow down that exhalation. And then inhale, slowly that left leg up. Exhale, planting that foot in between the hands. Finding our warrior two here. The same thing, we're keeping our hips and our chest square. We're keeping this open. Looking out over that left middle finger. And then go ahead and straighten that left leg. Heel toe that back foot in if you want. And then on your next inhale, go ahead and reach it out. Exhale, windmill your arms. We'll keep that trikonasana here for a couple breaths. So we're drawing this under and up, right hip up towards the ceiling for a couple breaths. Maybe find a little more length here on that inhale so we're not dumping into that left ribs. And feel this pose for another breath. And then looking down at that left foot, again, slowly, course centrically, inhale as you come back up. Exhaling into warrior two for a breath. And then use that inhale to nourish. Exhale to cleanse, vinyasa, downward facing dog. Couple breaths here. All right, for the hips, get into pitch here in a moment. So inhale that right leg up nice and slow. Exhale that right knee somewhere close to that right wrist-ish. 
top of that left foot on the mat. So we're just going to find our way to pitch here. And we're going to be here for a few breaths. <clears throat> you need some. So when you're ready, you could go ahead and just melt forward. If there's any other version of pigeon you'd like to feel into, we'll be here for a few breaths. And sending your breath through prana to wherever it is needed. Quality of your breath, quality of your practice. In Ayurveda, we talk about the pillars of health. So what we eat, what we drink, the quality of our rest or sleep, and our breath. more cycles of breath here. And when you're ready, coming back to those shoulder width hands. And we'll take a few breaths here before that left side. So some people like to get back into downward facing dog, walk it out, pedal it out. We could even open up the hip or flip the dog if you'd like. And then whenever you're ready, you'll slowly inhale that left leg up towards the ceiling. Slowly exhaling that knee down towards the mat. And again, taking your time here. You can always just melt forward or reach back. Open up the quadricep, open up the heart center. And again, we'll be here for several breaths. more cycles of breath here being present in this moment. I'm sure you're all familiar with the raw breath. Be here now. shoulder with hands. Take a few breaths to find whatever feels good. 
walking your dog, the dog would face the dog. Opening up the hip, flipping the dog with your bike. We're all going to meet on our backs. So if you have a jump through, you can practice your jump through. But however you want to get there, find your way to your back. Maybe bring both knees into the chest. Maybe give them a little squeeze. Maybe gently rock back and forth side to side. And then go ahead and bring that right knee into the chest. a couple breaths here half happy baby if you'd like or on your exhalations drawing that right knee closer to the ropes towards the outside of that right shoulder and then when you're ready with that right knee back towards the midline Find any version of a spinal twist here, so maybe it's left hand on the outside of the right knee, looking out over that right extended arm. A couple more breaths here. back to center and switching out the legs left knee in the chest and again maybe drawing that left knee closer to the outside of that left shoulder or half happy baby and again utilize your breath here to get more out of your practice left knee closer back towards the midline. Find your version of a twist here. slowly coming back to center. Take your time, you're gonna come back to that comfortable seat. We'll take a few breaths here in stillness. Closing the eyes. Opening up the heart. Maybe go back to breathing into the heart center. Out through the heart center. more breaths. See if you could elongate the breath a little bit more. And if you want, you could stay here with your breath or if there's any pose you'd like to end your practice with. 
a short bit of time here for whatever feels good. And then whenever you're ready, we'll all move in Shavasana. So when you get there on your back, palms facing up, arms down by your side, allowing those feet to naturally spread out. Letting go, literally, figuratively, allowing that breath to come back to its more natural breath pattern. Go ahead and start to bring some awareness back to your breath. So we'll do a couple slow, deep inhales and exhaling. Starting to find some movement with the body. And maybe start by wiggling the fingers, wiggling the toes. Feels good reaching the arms up overhead, pointing the toes for a good morning stretch. Maybe bring those knees back into the chest for a moment. Maybe give them a little squeeze. Gently rolling over to either side. And melt a little bit into this fetal position. Slowly coming back to that seated position. See if you could keep your eyes closed. And bring the palms back together in the heart center, maybe slightly touching the chin. Another moment to find something, someone, yourself, anything to be thankful for. And to 
into a couple more breaths here. Come back sometime later in this day. And then back to the now. Being here now. So what time is it? It's always now. Where am I? You're always here. And the big one. Who are you? In this moment. Namaste. Namaste.